Waifu series and anime for my channel that I want to talk about, do some reviews, share some of some top fives that I'm going to come up with with various anime that are my favorite. Some of them are classics, they're all-time favorites, so look forward to seeing that as I unroll that content. I want to talk about Dragon Ball Z, the original. I've got five reasons why it's one of my favorites. One of my favorite, one of my all-time favorite animes. So I kind of want to kick it off and say that one of the first reasons why <clears throat> It showed me that you could push yourself, you could train, you could be better than what you are, but you have to work for it. So watching Goku train in the hyperbaric time chamber and, and watching Vegeta and Piccolo and everybody like push themselves to like be better and stronger and, and, and reach, you know, ascended saying and all of that. Like it was really cool to see and it kind of put that in me like, hey, you need to push yourself. You need to be disciplined. You can be better. You can always have that within you, that desire. Like I can't be comfortable just being where I am. <clears throat> so then there was another one. So watching the dynamic relationship, like when you see Kakarot and Vegeta, it is interesting because Kakar I mean, Vegeta hated Kakarot. He just hated him. And Kakarot was so oblivious to it most of the time because of his general good nature. And that just made Vegeta even angrier. And then it was almost like he was creating the anger within Vegeta, which would ultimately cause Vegeta to do a lot of what he was doing. So in, in essence, Vegeta was right. But I'll talk about that later. So yeah, it was just watching the back and forth between Vegeta and Goku aka Kakarot. It was really interesting. So I really enjoyed just seeing that dynamic um, throughout all of the season, all the sagas, all, everyone that they fought. It was just interesting to see. So basically there was a lot of science within Dragon Ball that was presented, science fiction. They were flying around. They're going to space. I want to point out Capsule Core. It was really cool that they talked about nanotechnology because we utilize it now. Our laptops, our devices, the phones we have. So without nanotechnology and without that ability to have things at that nano, you know, nano level, really, really small, we couldn't have um, technology integrated into our life and our lifestyles and our society. Just like it was when you watch Dragon Ball Z, like they had technology. It was just integrated. They were they were one. And it's kind of like that now, like our society. And this is like every day, like you couldn't even think of a day that you didn't have Wi-Fi or your devices, or you couldn't upload to like Snapchat, Instagram. So, you know, you can kind of think about stuff like shows like Dragon Ball Z and other science fiction shows and cartoons and things like that. It's always a good to have a precursor. So it motivates and inspires people to want to duplicate what they grew up seeing. So, yeah, you can thank Dragon Ball Z a little bit for that, I think. Um, number four would be the fight scenes. <laughs> Plain and simple, the fight scenes. The fight scenes were everything. The fight scenes were awesome. And when you think about when they were drawing in the traditional um, Japanese style of, you know, using anime, drawing anime, and the cruder approach where it's not all this high tech, you know, they were using traditional anime manga methods to simulate, you know, speed and depth. And it was just awesome to see. And they were some of the most creative uses of animation and color that I've seen in a cartoon. So the fight scenes Hands down, one of the reasons, it's one of my favorite animes of all time, the fighting. It was awesome. Um, and it kind of brings me to my last point. Just for right now, I could probably do 30, but I just wanted to give you five. And the last one is there was masterful storytelling. When you watched Dragon Ball Z and you watched from the very beginning, you just kind of got, you were brought into a story. There's an arc and there was development for everybody. So everybody that you get introduced to, they start off this way, and then by the end of all of the sagas, they're all different. They've changed so many times. They've all had awakening moments. It's just a great way. Coming of age, like everything they go to make you a better person, is it was discussed and presented in Dragon Ball Z. So that's my five. Um, it's one of my favorite. It's one of one of the all-time classic anime. Look forward to seeing some top fives from from this series, definitely from some of the Dragon Ball Z sagas, some of the best fights, some of my top five reasons why Vegeta is not better than Goku and vice versa. I really look forward to having some fun with this. If you like this, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, please subscribe. You know, subscribe so that I can bring more content to you guys. 